Hi everybody, I'm Jim and welcome to the channel. Uh, I normally don't do knife unboxings, but I know there are quite a few Dark Timber fans on the channel and um, I received this package today in the mail. Um, this I think is going to be a special knife and so I thought it might be fun for folks uh, for me to do an unboxing and for me to uh, to to show the show the channel what uh, what's in the package or what's in the box. Um, I'm not going to go into the particulars of, of how I've actually acquired this. Uh, suffice it to say, I am uh, thankful um, and blessed to uh, to be the owner of this knife. I'm thankful to Peter Kohler, and I'm also a special shout out goes out to Sergio Ortiz. Um, without whom, uh, you know, I, I may not have acquired this knife at all. Um, Sergio knew that um, that I had been looking for a, an OG 1911, and he put the bug in Peter's ear, and uh, one thing led to another, and here's the knife on my table. Um, now, the OG 1911, for those folks that don't know much about Dark Timber, they're essentially for lack of a better word, I'm going to say two versions of the 1911. There's the um, the version that we know now um, that, you know, in the mid-tech line, I think has maybe four different four different uh, uh, iterations of it now. Um, but before that, there was a smaller 1911 and that had a different configuration. And so I'd been looking for one of those as as a fishing knife. And here we are. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's in the box. Of course, I've got my Dark Timber 1911 Commander. This is my EDC. This is on my hip every day of the uh, every day of the week, and uh, that's the one great thing about COVID. If it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't be able to carry this basically 24/7. But since I'm home now, working, I can carry this 24/7. Oh, it looks like the, the box was slightly damaged uh, by U.S. Postal Service, but that's okay. It looks like. Looks like I'll be able to fix it fairly easily with some uh, with some wood glue, I think. And it looks like it's time for me to sharpen my sharpen my knife. So how cool is this? Um, a lot of the knives that sh Peter's been shipping out lately have come in these boxes. So these are kind of cool, and I presume that they're that they're homemade. And it's got a little inscription on it, which is great. Oh, wow. And inside we've got a little leather, leather wrapper and a dark timber sticker. Just will go with my uh, with my other dark timber stickers. Okay, so just the knife in the box. This is cool. This is really really nice touch. In fact, maybe I can even use this. Nah, it's probably too thin. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to think. Well, maybe I could use it in the sheath. So, I, I have a project, a to do project of mine is to make a. Uh, a sheath for my last dark timber knife and I guess I'll be making a sheath for this knife so that's going to be a project that hopefully I get done before the next blade show um, I've got a lot of projects around the house but before I get to that I've got to I've got to clean up my uh, my rod shop so first thing that's going to happen when I clean up my rod shop is I'm going to make, be making leather sheaths and bamboo fly rods Oh, this is cool. I don't I don't know what kind of steel it is. I'll have to ask Peter. Oh, it's sharp too. I'm gonna have to take it out and ferro rod, ferro rod. Aha, I do have a ferro rod here. I don't have any fat wood though. And I promised my wife no more fires 
<laughs> no, more, no more spark testing in the kitchen. <laughs> so the, uh, the handle's camel bone, which I don't have any camel bone knives, but this is, uh, this is really, really cool. And I can put my finger here so I can, I can choke up on it a little bit like I like. Yeah, how cool is that? So, um, for those that are interested, it's a four and three quarter inch blade um, from the, uh, as measured from the front of the scales here. And cutting edge, about four and a quarter inches. Yep, just about four and a quarter inches. Overall length is nine and just under nine and a half. Nine and three eighths. Wow, this is cool. And this is this is this is the perfect this is the perfect fishing size. Um, I don't know if Peter has any plans for these. You know, he's. Uh, He's been making um, a lot of the revolvers. He's been making a lot of the Mustangs. Um, so I think that's where his focus is. I don't know if he has any plans on making any more of these. I know, I think he's made about five of these this year, maybe maybe six. Um, so I don't know if he's planning on a mid-tech OG. OG 1911 mid-tech line. Did I mention what this was? I, yeah, it's an OG 1911. So just from a size comparison standpoint, for, for some folks, here it is versus the Commander. Here it is versus the, uh, the Revolver XL. And it's about, the, it's about the same size, really, you know, which is cool. Um, I, like, I, I really like this size knife. And, you know, this is, here it is against my favorite knife of all time which is the, um, the Randall 25.5. And you can see, you know, comparing it to the Randall 25.5, which I've said is my favorite knife, um, you can see why I was looking for an OG um, 1911. Now this is actually, I think, I think it's actually larger than the, the 1911s that he used to put out. It's sort of, a, uh, a, a, I guess, a, a blend. Um, it's an updated version, right? It's sort of a blend between the, where the 1911 was and where it is now. Um, yeah, this is super cool. Uh, let's see. We can do a quick comparison against a, uh, a Comanche. And lastly, let's do a quick comparison against the Bushy. So it's just a tad larger than the Bushy which in my opinion makes it the perfect size. And I'm not gonna take it out and spark test it. However, <laughs> since I happen to have a ferro rod on my, um, on my sheath, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, there we go. Very cool. Yeah, how cool is that? Thank you again, Peter, very much uh, for this knife. Sergio, as always, you know, thanks for being my friend. Um, and uh, for those of you who are watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, this quick unboxing. Um, you'll see more of this once I get, you know, once I get a sheath made for this, I will be carrying this knife quite a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. Thanks for watching. And for those inquiring minds that, that might want to know, yes, it fits in my 25.5 sheath, but it's not a locking fit. So uh, I am going to have to make myself a sheath because I've, uh, I, <laughs> I was carrying my revolver in this and the revolver actually fell out one time. Um, so I said, never again, not doing that anymore. So I need to, I need to make a proper sheath for it. Thanks for watching.